Hey everyone, welcome back to the Day One Podcast. Today we've got a packed episode starting with a major update that's shaping the future of Day One, a redesigned navigation. This update is available now for iOS in versions 2025.6. We know big changes can take some getting used to, so we wanted to walk you through what's new, why we've made these changes, and how they'll enhance your journaling experience. To help break it all down, I'm joined by Day One's founder, Paul Main. If you're listening to the audio version, this is one you'll want to check out on YouTube as well. Paul shares a full walkthrough of the new navigation and layout in the app. Hey, Paul, welcome. Hey, Kristen. Thanks for having me on. Well, I'm excited to dig into this update and you're going to walk us through it. So I'm pretty excited to get this walkthrough too. So I guess first things first, this redesign brings some big changes to how users navigate day one. Can you walk us through the biggest improvements and why they make journaling a little easier? Absolutely. Yeah, this has been a um, a major project to reorganize the app and to redesign some parts that um, enable us to open up the app to expand where we want to go. And we've got a lot of interesting and fun ideas that we're planning to introduce. And so this is the first step towards that. Well, maybe the second or third step, because we have seen some changes already, but um, this is one of the bigger ones. Um, last year, we made the first major change, which was removing the tab bar items and relocating them over here in is the in this segmented controller within um, this journal view but this new update now has removed the journal drawer where previously when you would tap up here in the top left you'd you'd see the drawer we now have this beautiful journal picker where you can easily switch between individual journals or to all entries and a nice little shortcut uh, actually for that now, um, whenever you're on the journals tab down here. So now we've introduced this tab bar and we've got a journals tab and a more tab, which I'll show you in a moment. But on the journals tab, when it's active, you can tap on that and it'll scroll to the top. And if you tap again, when it's scrolled to the top, then you see the journal picker in a half sheet. So this makes it really convenient to quickly uh, switch between journals like this. <clears throat> so that's nice. Um, we, we also have maintained that gesture. So if you're used to pulling from the left here, mm -hmm. it does still invoke this journal from the bottom, which is kind of a weird interaction, but will help ease the transition a little bit. Yeah. So this, this, uh, uh, Tab bar is, I know it's kind of odd also having just two tabs in here. That's temporary. And I'll share a little bit more about where we're going there in a minute. But uh, first, let's look at the more tab. When you tap on this, now you'll find the, the features that were within the drawer, but now enhanced quite a bit. They've been redesigned to be more um, interesting. And one favorite feature is this on this day for entries on the anniversary of today, you can now kind of see this more expanded view and easily tap in to see the entry or the, the multi-entry view here. So that's nice. And then we've got a daily prompt widget, which you can cycle through multiple prompts. Just tap to answer one or click see more to see the recent ones. And then the feature from the day view to add from your photo library, this just gives you a hint of your recent photos in your photo library, inviting you to, to add them to an entry. And the final widget that we have in the more tab is the streak view, which um, gives you an indication of your recent week streak. And you can click to see the full streak view uh, or tap on any of, any of these individual days here to open up the day view for that day. And that's the more tab. Oh, we also have the, the notifications up here. If you do have a shared journal, then this will appear. And that's how you'll see if you have new notifications and access your notifications. It looks awesome. And I love just how organized it feels now. Like, you know, all of this stuff kind of lived in, in the journal drawer before, but now it's kind of 
you know, divided a little bit better to focus on this amazing design. So I love on this day, like it looks amazing that it's the design here it puts a, a lot more focus on past entries. And, you know, we hear from users all the time that on this day really is one of their favorite features of the app. So I love how much how much attention it gets here. Yeah, me too. It's it's a lot nicer. Yeah. And this is the first time, too, that we've kind of added the ability to shuffle through prompts. Like usually, you know, the daily prompt, you just get one or you can see past ones. But the ability to kind of cycle and, and refresh those is really cool, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and so, OK, as far as I think the only thing that users may miss with this update is the former today view. And so this just showed in your uh, places in your calendar events. And so can you walk us through where to find that? Right. So um, now you there's not a direct link to it from here right now. So one quick way would get from the more tab would be to tap on the most recent date here. And so that that takes you to the d current day view, which then you can cycle back through That's previous cool. days. Um, the other way is by tapping on the, the date uh, in the timeline here. So if I just tap on that, it brings up the day view. And then always through the calendar, you can just tap on a day. Um, okay, that's awesome. Yeah. I actually didn't realize you could tap on the those two places that you could tap. That's that's something new I learned just now. <laughs> yeah, lots of hidden little features in here. Um, but there's more to come there. I think this day view is a particular interest of me that I, I really want to enhance this one and um, bring that forward more in the experience. Awesome. Okay. So it sounds like it's just the beginning. Yeah. That's great. Okay. And so this update also adds, I, I guess, a pretty big redesign for iPad users as well. So can you walk us through what, what this looks like on iPad? Absolutely. This is a different sample journal account, so it's not the exact same as the one we were just looking at. But in here, in the multi-column view, which is the default view on the iPad now, you can now interact with all three columns at the same time. So you can switch the journal, see the the tabs, which we have up here, just the one more tab, um, and, and then interact with the timeline view and the journal entry view on the right. And these two columns are collapsible independently, so I can just hide that. And if I want to switch journals, then yeah, you bring it back over and, and switch, collapse. And then if I have an entry open and I want to go full screen, I can go here to just view the full screen entry. Okay, that looks amazing. And I mean, it feels like this is really optimized for iPad users. Yeah, I think we did a lot of work to make it really configurable to however you like to use day one on the iPad. And we've improved the multitasking abilities. And we always had the ability to pop out an entry like this, but we've improved the the interactions in, in terms of what you get in a single pane window like this um, versus where you can move that around. and. Uh, or split the column like like that and then you get you can also I'll open up the files app and split that with day one wow, so nice. now we've got yeah side by side view and things get really tight in here but it still still um works so that's it allows day one to to kind of work in, in all sorts of situations on the iPad. So even when you get down to the single column, then it's more like the iPhone view. Yeah. So that's kind of nice to have as a companion <laughs> off to the side. If you're doing like reading a book or something, you can keep notes. So that's nice. So I'll bring it back full screen. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it on the iPad. Okay, that looks great. I've started to, using like an external keyboard with iPad and doing like a little journaling in the evening. So I'm excited to like try out this new design. It's going to be great. I'm going to go back to the iPhone for a minute. I think I could I can share a little bit more about some of the ideas where we want to go with with this tab bar 
And I'm excited to share that we're working on a prompts gallery that's going to be a fun way to dive into different categories and have these packs of prompts that are relevant to whatever your situation is or your interests that you can work through at your own pace. And so that's going to be a new tab on here in the near future. Yeah, I yeah, I was about to ask because the post talks about how this is kind of laying the foundation to make day one have a little bit more of a guided experience. So any more glimpses of what's ahead? Just that for now, but we're also working on another view within there that I'll share more with you all in the future, but I'm really excited about it as another way to really capture your life in an easy way that's, that I think is going to be really powerful. Okay, awesome. All right. Well, I'm excited for that. And so I guess, you know, when a change like this happens, do you have any advice or guidance for anybody who's, you know, using this for the first time and noticing all the changes? Do you have any advice? I would say give it a little time. I know changes to an app that you're really comfortable with how, how it works and you've got your muscle memory on where everything is. Uh, it takes a bit to kind of get used to the those changes. But we're happy to hear your feedback and, and take that into consideration. What's the best way for, for users to let us know? Yes. Uh, so we're going to be posting kind of a, a, a more a breakdown of all the changes in this update at dayoneapp.com slash releases. And there's a link at the bottom of the post for the navigation update where you can submit feedback. Great. Yeah. Well, awesome, Paul. Thanks for giving us a walkthrough of all the changes. And I'm excited to hear what users think. And also, I'm excited to use it myself. I think it looks awesome. So thanks for all the work on this. You too. Great work. Thanks again to Paul for walking us through the new navigation update. If you haven't explored it yet, we hope this episode gives you a helpful head start. I also wanted to take a moment to highlight a few other updates. It's been a pretty big news week for day one. First up, we officially launched the Day One Windows app. For over a decade, Day One has been a trusted space for meaningful journaling on Mac, iOS, Android, and the web, and now it's available on Windows too. Whether you're journaling to reflect, heal, or simply remember, you can now write where and when inspiration strikes across all your devices. You can read more at dayoneapp.com slash blog or download the free Day One Windows app on the Microsoft Store today. We also brought shared journals to the Mac app, now in beta. With version 2025.6 or higher, share journals will now appear in your Mac sidebar, making it easier to collaborate and stay organized across your devices. You can read entries from others, edit your own, and even move or copy entries between journaling using drag and drop. There's still a few things in progress, like creating new share journals, managing members, and commenting, but this release lays the groundwork for a more seamless collaborative journaling experience on desktop. We'd love your feedback as we continue to build it out. On the Android side, we just rolled out an enhanced template gallery with a cleaner design and better functionality. It's now easier than ever to discover, organize, and apply templates to your journal entries, making your journaling flow that much smoother. You can learn more about all of these releases at dayoneapp.com slash releases. And lastly, if you're curious about what's coming next, make sure to check out Day One Labs. As we mentioned in our last episode, it's a new space for experimental features and early access. You can sign up at dayoneapp.com slash labs. One of the first features we're testing is Go Deeper, new AI-powered prompts that deliver tailored questions to help you explore your thoughts and memories in new ways. And finally, before we go, I wanted to leave you with a journaling prompt inspired by something fun we did recently. This past week, we took to the streets of Atlanta and asked strangers to answer one simple but meaningful question. What's a moment in time that you wouldn't change? We called it the Recollection Plate Challenge, and the stories people shared were beautiful. First dates, perfect birthdays, life-changing moments, even unexpected detours that helped shape who they are today. You can watch the full reel on our Instagram at Day One App to see some of their answers. Now, we're passing the question to you. Open up Day One and take a few minutes to write about it. What's a moment in time that you wouldn't change? It doesn't have to be big or dramatic, just something meaningful, something worth remembering. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening. Until next time, I'm your host, Kristen Webb Wright. Happy journaling.